have learnt about verbs in great detail and we already know that verbs can act as main verbs or as auxiliary verbs. Main verbs express the main action or the state of being of the subject whereas the auxiliary verbs are helping verbs that complete the meaning of the main verb of a sentence. I have an idea. Now in this sentence the word have is showing us the main action so it is acting as a verb and since there is no other verb in the sentence this is the only verb in the sentence which is showing the main action this is the main verb and this main verb is showing possession or belonging. But if I say I have cleaned the garage in the afternoon then in this sentence cleaned is showing us the main action so the word cleaned is the main verb here and the word have helps the main verb to express its meaning clearly so have here is an auxiliary verb. So we know that the have verb can act as the main verb or as the auxiliary verb. When it acts as the main verb, it stands alone and shows belonging or possession or state of having something. Whereas when the have verb acts as an auxiliary verb, then it does not stand alone. It helps the main verb to show whether the action has or had finished. Has, have, had are the three forms of have verb. Now let us look at the various uses of have verb as an auxiliary verb. We use it in the formation of perfect tenses. For example, they have gone for a bungee jumping trip. This is in the present perfect tense. They had gone for a bungee jumping trip. This sentence is in the past perfect tense. We also use it in the formation of questions. For example, have they tried bungee jumping before? Now let us look at the two sentences here. My father has two brothers and one sister. My father has cooked dinner for his friends. Now in both these sentences, we have used the verb has. But what is the difference in the usage in these two sentences? Let us see. Now in the first sentence, my father has two brothers and one sister. Has is the only verb here. So it is the main verb. It is showing possession. Whereas in the second sentence, my father has cooked dinner for his friends. Cooked is the main verb and has is acting as the auxiliary verb to explain the meaning of the main verb in a better way. Now let us look at this sentence. The children have had a nice time. Now in this sentence, had is used as the main verb. This verb is showing the main action and have is used as the auxiliary verb or the helping verb. So we see that we can use have both as the main verb and as an auxiliary verb in the same sentence. Now let us do this exercise. Identify the sentence which has the have verb as an auxiliary verb. Has she eaten her breakfast? She has her dance class now. Now let us take the sentences one by one. In the first sentence, has she eaten her breakfast? Eaten is showing us the main action. So this is the main verb. So here has has been used as an auxiliary verb. Now let us look at the second sentence. She has her dance class now. Here has is acting as the main verb of the sentence. There is no other verb in the sentence. Hence the first sentence 
has she eaten her breakfast is the sentence which has the auxiliary verb. Choose the sentence which has the have verb as the main verb. They had paid for the hotel in advance. Now in this sentence, paid is the main verb and had is being used as the auxiliary verb. So this is not our sentence. The second sentence, they never had a decent meal. Had is being used as the main verb. So this is our correct sentence. They never had a decent meal. So today we have revised our concepts of using the have verb as the main verb or as the auxiliary verb. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.